Hey guys, just apologizing about the lighting in this video. It's very terrible, but I had to get this video out for you guys, so yeah. That was creepy. So, hey guys, I'm back with another video. And as you can see by the title, so I'm going to be doing like a review on the Fluffier Slides by Ugg. And first, I'm going to show you the box, even though they're not in the box anymore, they're literally in my hand. So I'm going to sit them down to show you guys the box first. I think it's this. Something like that. Because the box is open. And there's no shoes in it. So, bam. So I know. This is the, um, I don't mind me. The TV is on and I'm kind of interested talking about football and I miss it wait the XFL isn't that tomorrow tomorrow more football sorry y'all way off topic but yeah this is that was too much that was just doing too much for real this is the box that it comes in and as you can see these are the type of boxes that you know your you know your regular Uggs like your Bailey Bowls or your um classics or whatever they don't come in this type of box the lid comes off at least I don't know if that's for everybody but mine's do the whole lid comes off and the box is extremely way bigger than this I'm gonna show you guys a box of comparison so yeah so y'all can see I'm gonna put them side by side so I went and got me a box. So I'm trying to figure out how can I move it around so it don't fall on me and so y'all can see. How about this is the fluffier box. This is the um classic short twos box. Mm, my shoes not in here no they out, they out there so yeah as you can see with this the classic box the whole top comes off and as I showed you guys with this box is just like your sneaker box just the top flips up so I showed you guys the box, and I mean, if y'all want to see how it's packaged, how it comes packaged, this is the paper that they use for it. You can just open it out, and there's the divider. I still have one of the little shoe things in here that I'm going to put back on the shoe so they're like, not wearing it. And the UGG card is in the box. So. That's just how the box is, you know, how the box looks. Now onto the shoe. Hard for me to get one of them because it still has the... Sorry, y'all. Should have turned that off. Phone is disturbing. Hmm, I wish I would have set them on top of the box. And then I gotta clean them off a little bit. But ain't too much. It's just like, um, not, I wouldn't call it lint, but they have like little hairs or something on it. But these are the shoes, and I'm gonna show you guys the one that has the, um, the thing inside of it. Because it's like, you know, how it would look when you get it. So, this is the shoe, has the, um, this thing, can't even think right now, and, you know, the famous, you know, uh, all on the band, the, uh, that's what I get for, I feel like I'm gonna miss stuff out of this video. The band support is what we're gonna call it today. 
and under it it says uh inside the shoe i'm gonna take well i'm gonna show you guys the other one so so i'll have to take the thing out so inside the shoe put that in here it says ug and on the back i mean on the bottom these are not these are not classic uggs they're on the back gee but yeah just like that and i mean now into like my mini review of the shoe my first one right now is going to be what i'm doing they collect a lot of lint. Like, I just had to pull off a couple pieces just now. But that's not too big of an issue or anything. I mean, just brush it off and we're fine to go. So, originally when I seen these shoes, what was my original thought? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know if I was like, oh, those are nice, or oh, I don't like those. And then became to like them, but I think I liked them from the beginning. I think so. Because I was like, I want a pair of those. Yeah, I did. Cause I was like, I want a pair of those so bad. Da, 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 da. And when I went to, I think when I went to go try to get them the first time, it was sold out. So I had to wait. And then I was like, I'm not waiting no longer. So when I finally went to go purchase the shoe, they did not have my size on the UGG website because and that was that I was mad about that. I am jumping around in this day on story I just realized that's what we're giving a review but yeah it's a story and a review now so when I went online to go purchase them they didn't have my size for black and I just love black black bags black Michael Cool bag right there but y'all can't see it by the way black shirts all right there black bonnet but yeah um i wanted black didn't want any other color to be my first my first one because i also want the red ones but they don't have my size in those right now either so i have to wait for those and i didn't want the gray because i seen a video that somebody um did and the gray i don't know i think i didn't watch too many videos of the gray ones i think i watched mainly black the um the black color but i think that was the only gray one i watched and i was like mm. it kind of looked it like sherpa and i'm like that's not how the shoe was supposed to look and i was like mm, i don't want those so i waited a little longer you know did some more research you know trying to figure out what size i needed um all that stuff and if I did like a review question in the beginning I'm gonna move it towards the back a little bit so that I can you know let you guys know my thoughts and stuff like that so I'm just ranting at this moment because um so I couldn't find them in my size so I went researching looking on different places like journeys journeys don't have the size that I need um Dillard's didn't have the size uh, what other, what other, which other ones are there? I can't remember the stores, but I know I checked all of them. Dillard's, um, now I can't remember. Great. But yeah, so I went to Nordstrom's online and guess what? I found my size. Because I put the money to the side. Because I was like, I'm getting these. No way. I'm getting them. Okay. So, sold them in my size. Put them in the cart. Purchased. But, for me, in that sense, the downfall for me. I'm not saying there's anything wrong about the shoe or anything. But the downfall for myself is that the shoe on Nordstrom's is $99.95, I think. And... When I when I went to um, when I originally was going to get the shoe, I had a coupon for UGG because when I purchased my um, chestnut UGGs, they gave me a twenty dollar off, and I have Unidays because I for my um, student like student discount, and that was ten percent off for that, so I would have been paying like seventy dollars instead of the hundred that you know 
Thug website sells it for. Nordstrom is ninety nine ninety five if I'm not mistaken. So instead of paying seventy dollars, sorry, that was my brother. If y'all heard that, I'm not sure, but that was embarrassing. But um, instead of paying the seventy dollars, I had to pay a hundred and five because Nordstroms don't have like discounts if I'm, other than like Nordstrom's rack. If I'm correct about that, that's what I've seen on their website. They was like they don't really do like discounts on there, so. I really wanted them, so I had to shut. I had to suck it up and pay that 105 and some change for my shoes. So now I'm going to. He messing up my video. Now I'm going to show you guys what they look like. Don't mind. I have on socks. Don't feel like taking them off. No, I'm not going to take them off. So yeah. I want to show you what they look like on my foot. They, um, the socks I have on are boot socks. The one, the high socks that hurt. The socks that you put on for like your Uggs and you see, you see them out at the top of your Uggs. So, I feel hair on me. Yeah, I was about to go off. Okay, so I want to show you guys the shoe on my foot. I want to do. I, I really want to just try on one, but I'll try on both, I guess. So like they're easy, you know, to put on. Just you know, put your foot in there. But I feel like, but I need to talk about it. So I'm taking the thing out just for y'all. You know, I took it out myself because I tried to move my first time. No, I was pressing them. But yeah, yeah, these socks are a little I kind of feel like they're a little too thick. I'm gonna leave my pants up a little bit so y'all can see like the type of socks I have on. So, yeah, let me show y'all these shoes first. So, these are the shoes. Oh, jeez. These are the shoes, right? And, oh my god. Sorry. These are the shoes on my foot. And, period. We're not doing it, sir. But this is the shoe. Just like this. These type of socks I got on because they just what I had on at the moment to show you guys. What is this on my sock? What the heck? Sorry y'all. But yeah, um now it's time for the review questions. Okay, I should have wrote them down because I think I'm gonna forget something. So excuse me y'all. To start off, I don't know. And then nobody asked this question, but I'm gonna add it anyway. I mean, then nobody asked me no questions, but I'm just trying to help y'all out, you know. Diggle that piece of hair again. Okay, are they authentic? Yes, they're authentic. And just in case you guys don't know, you can um check all your Uggs that you have to make sure they're authentic by looking in the left shoe. And inside the shoe, I don't know if you guys can really see inside the shoe, but inside the shoe, you should see the um, this is to tell you if they're authentic. It should reflect, it's like a reflector, and it should reflect so that lets you know that lets you know if um, the shoes are authentic. Next question. I can't really tell anybody to size up or size down. Because it's, you know, it's about how you personally want your shoe to fit on you. And I don't want to be responsible for telling somebody to, oh, get this size or get that size or go up this many sizes, go down that many sizes. But 
what I will say is that this is a size 12 because I have white feet and I um normally with shoes that has like the, this little top hood my foot is like don't want to go in there be like no sis I'm not going in that so I was like kind of skeptical like if, should, if I should get my original size should I size up and so I what I did I sized up and they fit perfectly to me I just um I think maybe it's the type of sock I have on because it's not that it's tight with the sock on but like my foot is a little further back because I think the mater the two types of material are not like it's like you know not letting my foot maneuver and move around so um what else the band if you have been watching you know other UGG uh, video I mean, um a review video on the fluff yeah I'm pretty sure you've heard about you know people who's talking about like the the band um the support band is supposed to I mean it's not really a support band I would agree because like normally your shoes that you wear that have this support band keeps your foot I feel like now okay the band is supposed to you know make your foot snug inside the shoe make sure it doesn't move da, 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 da. but for me I mean it stays on I mean it just rests on the back of my ankle if that makes sense and it is like sometimes it may slide I mean like slide down I have to slide it like back up I try to put it like a little higher so that it will take a little longer to slide down but I mean it's not too big of an issue to me so I mean I don't really you know complain about it so I don't I don't think it's too big of an issue um some people like would like to know like you know like how some how they smell I don't know what this smell like I mean it's not like a bad smell like, you know, like a um chemically smell it's not really like that like where you're like oh no I can't have these in my room or in my house you gotta sit outside for a minute to air out it's like really subtle it's not like something that's like because mm -mm. I've, I've had like you know like the jelly shoes where it's like mm -mm, these can't even be in my room it's giving me a headache and I can't even find them anymore off topic again can't even find those slides anymore it's somewhere somewhere somebody was walking past what was I about to say? Oh. Also, I mean, I don't know if anybody has a question about it. But, I know I questioned it. The heel. Is it firm? Does it, like, move? Mm, no. It's just, like, a kind of like a block. If that makes sense. It's like... It don't really give that impression, but like, like that, like, is very firm. Not, not squishy, but it's not uncomfortable. It's very comfortable. Like you can stand up in it, but like I wouldn't say stand up in it in like very, 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 very long periods of time. Cause some people, you know, have to stand up all the time and like or something. But I have not really worn them out yet, so I don't really have any too much of an opinion on you know how it feels standing in them for so long but standing in them you know like for a little bit or for like a couple of minutes or whatever they're perfectly fine to me so that's not an issue to, for me some people felt like it was too hard some people um even said that they were returning them because um when they walk in them they make their feet go like this or something or their ankles come in or but um I I've have seen like some reviews like that that they're when they walk in them they even the back piece slides off or 
you know, they can't, you know, speed walk in them because they come, like, they start to fall out their shoe. But personally for me, I mean, I haven't worn them that long, but especially, I haven't worn them outside yet at all. Um, I not too long ago got them, and I just, I'm waiting to wear them actually instead. But, um, y'all. But, um, I'm waiting to um, wear them actually, but when I did try them on, I didn't really have no issue, like, kind of like, you know, speed walking in them or, you know, doing anything in them. They didn't really fall off my foot. Then, you know, some people, um, were saying that, you know, like how some shoes, if when you walk in them, they, you know, make your ankle, they turn, they kind of, I don't know how to explain it. But, like, it's, like, where your foot goes, mm, like, that, like, your foot, where your ankle, like, where it possibly you can break your ankle. But I haven't had that issue. Um, I don't know any other, like, questions that you guys may have. But, like, if you do have questions and I'm able to answer them, I'll either answer them in the comments, like, personally let you guys know. Or if it was, like, a lot, I can, you know, make another video possibly answering the questions. But, I mean, there's not too many, to me, there's no flaws really with the shoe other than, I mean, there's not too big of an issue that the thing, it, I mean, the purpose of it, to me, is like, you know how, like, when babies, like, the, the shoes babies wear, like, slides or whatever, and it's supposed to keep their foot in so, like, they they won't come out the shoe? This is, to me, what I think this is supposed to be for, but, I mean, it keeps you in the shoe, but sometimes it may you know, come slide down or anything, which is not too big of an issue to me. And, I mean, 99, well, UGG has it on their website for 100, but Nordstrom's is 99.95, I think, once again. Um, that is not bad, but, I mean, I understand, I mean, $99 for a slide should be perfect, I mean, for a lot of people. People feel like, you know, if I'm going to spend this much money on an UGG product or on a product that costs $99 for a slide in general, it should do this, this, and this, and this, which is perfectly normal. I mean, nobody, I don't think nobody wants to buy a high-end brand shoe that, you know, lacks in stuff that they feel like it should not lack in. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Like, that's their opinion. Nobody can knock their opinion, I mean, because you don't know, like, yeah, that's just their opinion. They feel like, sorry, if they feel like, you know, this and this is wrong or that, I mean, once again, that's their opinion. Nobody can knock it. I'm just giving my, you know, my opinion of it too, I mean, for, for self. And for those that, you know, may have, like, some of the similar issues that I have, you know, to be able to kind of guide you in a way of, like, you know, what to do. But, I mean, I feel like I don't necessarily want to tell you guys, like, oh, um, if if, it, if you normally wear this size, get this size. Because I don't, don't want to be responsible for somebody, you know, taking my word and buying this size shoe and it just doesn't fit for them they should have got their original size because everybody foot size are you know can be very different some people even have like you know one size one foot is like a for example an eight and the other is a nine and so I don't want to be like oh you most definitely need this size but for me myself I decided to get the uh, go a size up because of the reason that I gave you guys earlier so that was my reason. I guess if you have a similar reason, reasoning with that, then maybe that would help. But they're not really, well, I can't say that either. I was going to say they're not really, you know, like the, this, the top piece is not really, you know, tight. But I can't say that because I didn't get them in my original size. I, ha I will have to know about it, like with that, with my original size, which I don't have. And I'm going to end this video right here because I'm just yamming at this point, I feel like. And I don't know if you guys want to hear all that. So, yeah. Guys, make sure you go get your fluffy yeah, slides by UGG. They're very comfortable, very cute. And, like, a lot of people have them. So, you're missing out.
Go get them. But yeah, that's if you want them. I mean, I, I've since I've seen them when they first came out, I was like, oh, that's different. That's very cute. So, yeah, I really like them. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, sus and subscribe. And turn on your post notification bell so that you can be in the know when I post another video. Bye!